So, Father, what are we to make about the March 25th, uh, 2022 consecration of Pope Francis? Why do you say that those who believe that, that the consecration of Russia uh, requested by Our Lady was accomplished on that day are wrong? And someone asked, could it have been, uh, could that consecration have been an attempt to discredit the, the Fatima message? Um, it's not that I'd say people are wrong about it. It's just I'm not convinced by it. It made no reference to Fatima in the act of consecration, which is meant to be a solemn act. Therefore, it has to make some reference to the request of Our Lady. And it doesn't, it, it shows it has a different motivation. And Francis has discredited Fatima by going there five years before that to, to kind of disregard the idea that many souls go to hell. And we've not seen peace on the contrary more and more war um, of the most gruesome kind. So I'm not convinced by it. I just wanted to maybe add, but actually, sorry for the confusion, to go back to the uh, March 22nd, 84, I think it is, consecration? Okay, good. So Chris is going to add something to that as well. I just wanted real quickly to just say, I think it's very important when it has to do with the consecrations, or yeah, conse supposed consecrations of Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, that we also look to the popes themselves, because clearly after that consecration of March of 1984, Pope John Paul II made multiple of, of further ones. That, that followed. I'm not sure, I don't know, maybe Chris or David knows the exact number, but I know he did more, because I know he did also one in 2000. Do you recall, Chris? Yeah. So he did multiple ones more. Obviously, then his successor, Pope Benedict XVI, did at least uh, one more consecration, and I think Pope Francis has done at least two. So I, I say we look to the popes, because clearly if John Paul II himself, Pope Benedict XVI, and Francis had thought that that was a good consecration in 84. There wouldn't have been any reason for them to continue, you know, uh, let's say, attempting to do the consecrations. So. so I was optimistic about it when it was first announced because there would at least be a mention of Russia. But what already asked for from the beginning was that Russia be singled out and consecrated. Consecration is the setting aside of a thing for a sacred purpose. Not anything else but Russia. Russia, and Russia alone. And again and again, the popes attempted consecrations. None of them would mention Russia by name. So this was the first opportunity, I thought, for the consecration of Russia finally to occur. And in the run-up to the consecration, we were told that Francis would consecrate Russia. But no. The interference began and things were added. So then we ended up with this formula. Therefore, Mother of God and our Mother, to your Immaculate Heart, we solemnly entrust and consecrate ourselves, the Church, and all humanity, especially Russia and Ukraine. So Russia gets an honorable mention along with Ukraine. But Russia was not the sole object of the consecration. Again, I was optimistic about this. I thought, well, at least there's going to be a mention of Russia. But I hadn't seen the formula. And the Kippitzers got involved, and he consecrated a whole bunch of things besides Russia. So there's this perverse refusal for decade after decade to conduct the consecration of Russia that simply mentions Russia and be done with it. And what is the result of that consecration? <laughs> we know. It's the right. Ukraine-Russia war. The two nations consecrated by name are at war. QED. I think there's something else that um, perhaps should be brought to the table. And that is the request was that the Pope was to command to order the bishops to, to consecrate, which would of course be an act of papal authority. And it would also point to the fact that the Pope is not just one among equals, but rather that he is what we used to call the Supreme Pontiff. 
and with the Greek schism, this rejection of his authority. Likewise, if with um, Luther's rebellion, it was rejection of papal authority. And of course, the Freemasons have had a hatred for papal authority. And if you, you recall, there was a, among the, 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 the Orthodox, they were um, antagonized by the um, definition of the Immaculate Conception because they saw it for what it was, a pap an act of papal authority. Um, and certainly, what we're seeing is the abandonment of papal authority, well, by um, Paul VI, the famous um, uh, abandonment of the Terrara. And um, we're certainly seeing it with, with Francis. He's exercising papal authority the very perverse way.